Miss Alessandra here from the Weston Public Library, and this is another Fun with Food. This week's Summer Library Adventures theme was art. So today we're going to make two recipes. The first one that we're going to start with is an artist's palette made with sugar cookies, M&Ms, and pretzel rods. So if you're ready to make the artist's palette, let's get started. For our artist palette sugar cookies. You're going to need some type of sugar cookie dough, whether it's a mix or a pre-made dough like I have over here. Um, it's a pre-made dough. Uh, you're going to need some M&Ms. I suggest getting mini M&Ms, those are easier. And you'll need some pretzel rods. The first thing you're gonna do if you don't already have your sugar cookie dough is you're gonna mix up some dough if you're using the pre-made dough, what you're gonna do is you're going to have to put some flour on your hands so it doesn't stick to you, and you're going to have to shape them into an artist palette. So an artist palette is kind of in the shape of a rounded out heart on its side. Let's see if I can show you that. So, like so. Okay, and you're gonna do that and put them on your baking sheet. Then you're gonna take your M&Ms, about three to four different colors. So I have here green, red, blue, and orange. And you're gonna put them along the outside of your sugar cookies, like so. I'm using a stirrer and I'm cutting out a circle next to one of my M&Ms where there could be an M&M but I've left a space because this is where my paintbrush is gonna go. And I'm just cutting out the dough in that space to make a hole. You can do this with a stir like I'm doing or you could ask your parents to cut it out with a knife. Or if you have a straw, you could use the edge of the straw and just punch out a hole. So I'm gonna quickly do these. So I put little holes where my paintbrush will go and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna fill in with different color M&Ms my paint spots. Then I'm going to bake these according to the directions. And once they're baked, after they cool, I will come back and show you the last step where we add the paintbrush or the pretzel rods. While we're baking our cookies, we are going to make our other recipe, which is a rainbow unicorn slush. Basically, just a very colorful slushy. The things that you'll need for this are food coloring in a variety of colors, corn syrup, a small plate, and some sprinkles. If you have rainbow sprinkles, I suggest those. I'm gonna be using these silver ones. This recipe is for two glasses, so get two glasses or cups ready. You'll need four cups of ice. And finally, one and a half cups of lemonade. The first thing that you're going to do is use that plate and pour some of those sprinkles on that plate. Grab the corn syrup and the paper towel Put a little bit of corn syrup on the paper towel, like so. And then rub that part of the paper towel around the rims of your glasses. Okay, so you're making it sticky. And you're going to then take your glasses and twirl it on your sprinkles so that you have a sprinkled rim of your glass. Do that with both of those. And again, if you have rainbow sprinkles, it will add to the effect of the rainbow unicorn slush and add to the effect that this is our art themed recipe. You're gonna then put those aside. You can save those sprinkles for later because we're gonna use them. And now you are going to Chop up your ice. So I'm going to do this, um, rather than splitting it up into different glasses, I'm gonna do this all at once. So I put my four cups of ice here, 
and I'm gonna pour in my one and a half cups of lemonade. I'm gonna put my lid on and I'm gonna blend this up. I'm not gonna make you listen to the blender, so I'll be right back. I've blended up my ice and my lemonade and now I'm going to do layers of it uh, in each of my glasses. So I'm gonna do the first layer and I actually need to do it this way. Okay. I'm just adding a layer of the slush to each glass. Ooh, look about even. And you're gonna wanna take out your food coloring. I have blue, green, red, and yellow. I'm gonna be making my rainbow slush with all of these colors, but you can choose as many uh, or as few colors as you want. I'm gonna start with red, and I'm gonna do two to four drops of red in that first layer. I then I'm going to take my stirrer and stir that food coloring in to make the whole layer red. Now you could use a straw to do this or a spoon. I find this stirrer to work pretty well. Now I'm going to go ahead and scoop out to add the next bit of um, lemonade. So I'm adding a layer. You can do this in different glasses and then put it all together. I am just going to do it this way. Um, for purposes of the video. Okay. I'm gonna just do it with one for right now. Okay, so there's my layer. I'm gonna add the next color, which I'm gonna make this yellow orange color. And for this, I'm only stirring that layer. orange layer. I'm going to add some more of this for the next layer. I'm just scooping it out. You could pour it in, but I find it easier to scoop when you're doing the next bits of layering. I'm going to do a green layer. And again, when I stir, I'm only stirring that green top layer don't want the colors to mix. I don't want to go down too far to a different layer. So there's my green layer. And finally, my fourth color I'm going to add in. drops and I'm gonna stir that without touching the other layers that's my blue layer so that's what you're gonna do in each of your cups and then remember how we still had some sprinkles left. We are going to top our slushy with a layer of those sprinkles. So that's why I said save them. You can use them for the topping. And that is our rainbow unicorn slush that you can enjoy with your artist palette cookies, which we're going to finish now. So my cookies have cooled, and now we're gonna finish up our artist palette. 
Now in the oven, that hole that you made will probably have closed up, but you should see a little indent of where that hole was. That's all we needed was to see where the indent was. And we're gonna go ahead again and just make that little hole, okay? I'm gonna do that to these guys. All right. So those are our little artist's palette. And what we're gonna do now is just finish it off by taking a pretzel rod and going underneath, sticking it into that hole like so, as if it was the paintbrush. Okay. Just sticking it in and laying it down. Hold one up so you can see. That's my little artist's palette with my paintbrush. And that is today's Fun With Food. We have our artist palette, sugar cookies, and our rainbow unicorn slushes. I hope you have fun with this and I hope you enjoy them. And I'll see you next week for another Fun With Food.